What up, punty? Welcome to Way of Yao. My name is Yao. For all of my new subscribers, it is a pleasure to have you here. And if anybody else is new to the family, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. It is free. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button as well. As you know, it is a new year and I'm so excited to see what this year brings. I'm really optimistic and I have a lot of stuff that I want to achieve in this year. Definitely with Video content being one of them, I want videos to be pumped out this year. Videos need to be coming out left, right, centre and I'm so excited to see what this year brings. So I feel as though as we are in a new year, we want to make sure that our goals are achieved and by doing that you need to start off the year afresh and start it off with you know, the things necessary in order to achieve that. So for this video, we're gonna keep it a little bit more lighthearted. It is gonna be a hair video, but I'm gonna be talking about some of the products that I like to use for my hair care, firstly, and then some of the products I like to use for my hair styling. Now, these are two completely different processes, two different, you know, it requires two different types of products. One is gonna be more nourishing, and the other one is gonna be more for holding, for setting, for styling, and holding your style in place. By the way guys, just to let you know, I am actually um, pressing down my edges a little bit with a little bit of my Eco Styling Gel which we will actually talk about in a moment. But yeah, that's why like I've got it like snatched back like this, just to let you know. So to start off, I'm going to be talking about the products I like to use in order to maintain my hair. Um, in terms of its health and stuff like that. Perfect, now if you have been a part of the family for some time now, you would know that I am a firm believer of H2O. Water is gonna be your best friend. Water is what is going to hydrate your hair, is what is going to hydrate your scalp. The ends of your hair are the oldest parts of the hair, so you want to make sure that you are constantly keeping that hydrated. So H2O is essential. Another natural ingredient that I like to use is my tea tree oil. I like to use this one mainly in my scalp. If you ever have any itch or you have dryness in your scalp, tea tree oil is so soothing on the scalp and it's really, really, really nice. Another product that you guys will be familiar with if you watch this channel on a regular is my castor oil. I love using castor oil in my hair, especially in the ends of the hair. As I said, the ends of the hair is the older, so you definitely wanna lock in that moisture with a nice thick oil that is gonna maintain that moisture and retain it. And so this castor oil is beautiful, it is quite thick. I do like to use it also for styling, however, I do find that it helps to give your hair a really nice sheen. If your hair is like dry and you're gonna be doing a twist out, you put some of this in there and then whatever else you use to style it with, it is definitely gonna help to give it that nice glossy sheen. I love me some castor oil. I do also like to use some of that castor oil in my hair before I even go in to wash my hair because castor oil definitely gives it that coating that you need in order to keep it moisturized. Even in the scalp, a lot of people have used it to like grow back their edges and stuff like that. If their edges are very thin or sparse, use some castor oil. Another product that I love to use for my hair care is conditioners. This is the Cream of Nature Intense Conditioning Treatment. I love using this after I've just washed my hair. This one really does help to reinforce that moisture in your hair and really helps to give it that detangled feeling. I do like to use the Cream of Nature um, hair shampoo as well. I don't have it at hand to show you guys. I do need to go and buy me some more, but that is what I like to use for washing my hair and it really helps to detangle the hair as well. So I like to use this right after that. Um, amazing products, I really like it. It has argan oil within it. You definitely want to stay away from the products that have more alcohol and you know, just stuff like that that's gonna actually damage the hair and work against it. Dry it out and remove your natural oils. That is not what you want. I have another conditioner on the list. This is my Cantu conditioning leave-in treatment. I really like to use this one if my hair ever feels like a bit dry and I don't wanna, you know, wash it and then put oil and all of that stuff. I just like to rub a little bit of this in there, especially in the ends of my hair. As the ends of the hair, I cannot say it enough is the driest part of the hair and the oldest part of the hair. A lot of the time, if your hair is breaking, that is the part of the hair that is breaking off and the reason why your hair doesn't seem to be growing. Your hair is actually growing, but if the ends are breaking at the same rate at which it's growing from the scalp, then you're not gonna see any growth. So definitely, I love using this in the ends of my hair. I love rubbing it throughout my hair and it definitely just moisturizes my hair. It's leave-in, so you don't need to wash it out. 
I love something that is just so easy to use. You pop it in, you're Gucci. Now I'm going to be moving on to the products that I like to style my hair with. There are going to be a lot less products because I generally don't style my hair as much, like doing leave outs and stuff like that. I tend to stick to my Bantu knots and I think that that's just generally more healthy for your hair anyway, to have it in a nice protective style where you don't have to constantly manipulate the hair. However, when I do like to manipulate my hair and do styles with it, I'll show you guys the products I like to use for that. Now firstly, you may have seen this in a couple of my videos now, it is my Eco Styling Gel. This one is supposed to have aloe vera in it, so it's supposed to be slightly more nourishing for the hair. So I like to put a little bit of it in the um, edges of my hair just to lay it down as you saw me doing earlier. I literally just rub a little bit in the edges of the hair, put a bandana on or some sort of hair tie just to tie it down so that it flattens it a little bit and I really do like this one. It's not too harsh on the hair. There are some other ones out there that it literally stiffens the hair and makes it like wax. I really don't like that. I feel as though this one, yes, it, it isn't gonna be as strong. So I do find that this one doesn't hold it for the entire day, but I'm okay with that. I prefer for my hair to be in good health. I'd prefer that than to go for something harsh that is going to damage my hair. Once again, the um, edges of your hair as well is quite fragile as well, so you don't want to add extra pressure on the edges of your hair by putting in a thick, like, holding gel or anything like that. That is why a lot of the time the edges be leaving, baby. Do you know what I mean? And so we need to make sure that we are looking after our edges. So I do recommend this one. I really like this one. Another product by Cantu that I have found I like is the Coconut Curling Cream. This one I'd say is nice for a twist out. If you wanted like something with really tight curls, if you want something a little bit more loose that's going to hang out a little bit more, this isn't going to be the best product for that. This one I definitely say is if you want something very with, with a lot of sheen but you want it to be quite tightly packed curls, that is what this is going to give you and I do like this product. The last product that I'm going to be mentioning is a product that I don't use very often. I've probably used it only twice before. It is my Cream of Nature Argan Oil Hair Protectant sort of product. I don't actually know exactly what it's called because the writing has rubbed away. It's like a heat defense oil. You just rub that through your hair before you apply any heat. Whether it's blow drying or straightening your hair, this is what you would use first. I don't straighten my hair. I've straightened my hair once in my life. Regretted it. Probably won't be doing that again. But I do sometimes blow dry my hair. It is quite rare that I blow dry my hair. But whenever I do, I like to pop some of this on it first just to help you know, stop heat damage and stuff like that. It just helps me mentally to know that when I'm applying heat, I am actually taking some sort of procedure to prevent heat damage and stuff like that because heat damage is a thing and it is terrible. So I really hope I have impacted somebody with this video. I really hope that it has helped some people to, you know, know what might be better for their hair, what might not be as good for their hair, maybe something to try out some possible alternatives and stuff like that. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, do not forget to show your support by hitting that like button. It means a lot to me. And if you actually, you know, have fallen in love with this channel, then make sure to subscribe as well. That would also mean a lot to me. We are definitely trying to grow. In 2018, it is a new dawn. It is a new day. It is a new life for me. And I'm feeling very good. I don't know why it's also difficult. But anyway... I shall see you guys in the next video and it is a pleasure to, you know, make this video and see you guys soon. Bye.